All right, Maddie Karhunen, it's your lucky day. I'm going to do another Nightwish song suggestion. I know a lot of you have suggested this song from Nightwish from the, I think it's End of Era. Let's see here. Yeah, the DVD End of an Era. This is my understanding. It's Taria's last performance with the band. I, I don't think she knew she was leaving, even when she was performing here. Is that true? So, anyways. So here we go. Slaying the Dreamer. Nightwish, end of an era. Uh, so now, Maddie, you, you don't have to bug me anymore. I got your two requests done with. So you can leave me alone. Okay, where are we? So here we go. Slain the Dreamer. Another Taria song. So look, this is two today. Two Taria songs, just for you guys. So I don't get any more nasty comments. How come you only do four? Because she's better, that's why. <laughs> uh, people are going to go on the keyboards. How dare you? How dare you?
So, you're all wondering what I'm thinking, right? <laughs> that was really good. That was really good. Um, it's probably the best performance of Taria that I've seen and heard. So, there you go. So, that's a great recommendation. I got to see really her... Uh, boy, she's prettier than I thought. She's uh, I like her outfit there. <laughs> so, Taria, I'll, I'll start with her. I like her, uh, I like her outfit. Uh, very seductive, very hot. But she can, yeah, she can sing. I knew that she could sing, I know. But that was a good representation of, I guess, I can see now that energy or that charisma on stage that I think people were talking about. But I hadn't really seen, and this performer did show me her charisma on stage. So I'll give her full credit where credit's due. Uh, her headbanging there. She can headbang like floor. So I didn't see her do that before, Taria. So there you go with that. Headbanging was awesome. She sounded great. And I'm not the biggest fan of the opera singing. Like, I'm just, you know. But in this song, it was a good comp. She sang, like, non opera at the beginning, and that opera sound at the end with Marco doing that scream singing was a really good uh, juxtaposition, if you know what that word means. Um, yeah, so that's a great recommendation. Great song. Great guitar work by Ampu. They all look so young and adorable. Uh, I, I will say it's too bad that. It, <laughs> I understand, like I get, I get, I get the love that Tari has, I understand it, it makes sense to me, don't get me wrong, I understand, especially if you were a fan of Nightwish with Tari, it must, be, must have been very heartbreaking to have the singer leave, I've, I've been fans of bands that have lost their singer and they try to replace it with another singer and it's, and it's hard to accept sometimes, it just doesn't work, it's never the same, for better or for worse it might not be the same. Um, I mean, Tarya, she's she's very attractive. Um, she can sing. She did have charisma there. So I have to ask, again, did she not know at this time during this performance that she was going to get kicked out of the band? Didn't she get, like, a letter from Tuamas? Was Tuamas the only one that knew? So the audience and nobody knew, eh? That, that makes watching that really kind of weird to think, like, it's kind of weird to think that she's on her way out. Or did she want to leave? I can't remember the story. Just remind me in the comments. Um, but anyways, thank you for that suggestion. It was great. See, I don't just I don't hate on Taria. I don't. I only do that to Annette. And I'm just joking. I've got some Annette love too. Don't worry. Um, but just remember that Floor was the first one I experienced, right? So this is just me kind of going back in time. So I have to wrap my head around the past of. But I get it with this performance and song. I can understand the love that people have for Taria. It's I, I get it. Yeah.